In this lesson we're going to look at frequency tables and more importantly we're going to look at how to calculate the mean, the mode and the median from frequency tables. Now just to remind you of what a frequency table is, it's just basically like a tally table. So if you look at this idea here, I've created a quick frequency table with crisps. Now this would be used to record information that could be then used to create graphs and charts and things. So imagine I wanted to know in a classroom how many people like these flavours of crisps. So what I would do is I would ask how many people like cheese and onion and all the hands up I would create tally marks for and then I would record that as a frequency. Now on here if you like cheese and onion, now cheese and onion I think is blue. So if you look at the blue you'd have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So you would create um, 8 tally marks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and then the frequency would just look like that. Okay, and salt and vinegar, that's uh, green for walkers, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, strike through, frequency would be 5, and so on. So you could then create a bar graph, so cheese and onion, 8 high, salt and vinegar, 5 high, and so on. So this would be a way, a way of recording information. Now, once you've got the information in the frequency table, you might want to then calculate some statistical analysis on it, so you might want to calculate some averages. How would you do that? Okay, well, there's, there's a technique to do that, so let's look at this example here. Now, this is a table here with the number of items, or makeup items, in a hang, handbag. So, a survey was done, and the number of people found with one makeup item was seven. The number of people found with two uh, makeup items in their handbag was two. And so on. One person had three makeup items, four people had four makeup items and two people had five makeup items. So our first task here is how do you calculate the mean from this information? Well the way to do it is to basically work out how many items there were all together and divide that by the, the total of the frequencies. So if you look at the number of items um, that seven people had, seven people had one item, so in total that's seven items. And then in the next column, two people had two items, so altogether that's two times two, which is four items. Next, three, uh, one person had three items, that's just one times three, or three times one. Four people had four items, so that's 16 items. And two people had five items in their handbag, so five times two is ten. So if you total that up, you're going to get the number of items all together. So there's 40 items. Now the mean is the total number of uh, items, if you like, divided by the total number of people. What an average did each person have? So how many people were there? Well, you better add up the frequency column to do that. So 7, 8, 9, 10, 14, 16 people, or 16 purses there were. So if you create this extra column f times x, get your total, add up your frequency to find out how many people there were, how many purses, and you do a division, 40 divided by 16, you're going to get your mean, and that works out 2.5. Now, the mode is the number that appeared the, the most, the number of items that appeared more than anything else. So if you look at that, it's the one with the largest frequency. So one item was the most common, wasn't it? Because seven people had one item. So the mode really is just one. I thought I had some kind of arrow pointing to that. Yeah, but I must not do that. I thought I could see it here. I mean, I'll just try and get that, bring that in. There it is. Right, the median. The median is the middle item. So the item in the middle of 16 purses. Now the middle item, that's an even number of numbers, so there'll be 8 either side, so it's really between the 8th and the 9th item. Now, between the 8th and the 9th item, the 7th item's a 1, because there's going to be 7 people with 1 item in their handbag. So that means the 8th person, if you like, has got 2 items, and the 9th person's got 2 items. 
So median's between 2 and 2, so that just must be 2. Now if you find that hard to deal with, I can write it out long way. So this really means is 7 1s, 2 2s, 1 3, 4 4s and 2 5s in a big list. So that's going to look like this. That's how many 1s there were. That's how many 2s there were. 2 2s. There was only one person who had 3 items. 4 people had 4. And 2 people had 5. So if you're looking at the middle value, the middle value appears 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, between these two. So 2 add 2 divided by 2 is 2, which you saw here. Some people find this easier to do, but it's good to be able to do it up here, say that, well, the 7 ones, the 8th item must be a 2, and the ninth item must be a 2, because sometimes the list can get really big, and it takes time to write it out.